Hey my darlings, so today I am doing a little like review of a subscription box and this is of Japan Crate. Um, mine got shipped on the 3rd of February and it has come to me on the 10th so it took 7 days. It, take, it says it takes 2-3 to three weeks, well it took less than 2 weeks to get here so I'm very impressed. Um, but on the back it does tell you like the total weight and everything. It says Japanese candy, snacks, sodas for personal use only, not for sale slash resale. But yes, yeah, so I got this today. Um, I got the premium box, which is the biggest box you can get. And it it's, it's quite cute because it does say Japan Great on the back, but on the back it says happy valentine's day so obviously this is february so it's valentine's day so i imagine it's like valentine's-ish themed so let's uh... i'll let you guys see it before i do open this up that's the, <laughs> that's the inside let's have a look here Ooh. okay i see a lot of things okay i didn't know I know they said there's a lot of stuff in here, but uh, wow, this is a lot of stuff. Okay, so February, February 2018, and inside it shows um, what you can get in the mini crate, the original and the premium. So in the mini crate you can get 5 items, in the original crate you get 10 items, in the premium crate you get 15. So you basically mini crate a whole column there, uh, original crate, both those columns, premium crate, all three. So I'm not going to read through it because I'll read it as I go along. Um, they've also got a February, a February Sagoe crate, I don't know how to pronounce that. Each month one lucky subscriber is randomly chosen to win the Sagoe crate filled with giant candies, Japanese gadgets, toys and gaming systems. So ooh, sounds nice. And then it's um, let's make Pokemon soft candy DIY instructions. Ah, so this is the instructions to my DIY, which I think is this one. Yeah, so um, in the premium box you get a drink, DIY, and then a bunch of snacks. So this is the, so it's the Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, you get the DIY in the original box, sorry, as well. Um, it's the Let's Make Pokemon Soft Candies. It makes two adorable soft candies. Strawberry and lemon flavour. You can make Pikachu, Litten, Rowlet and a bunch of others. So yeah, I look forward to that. L looks quite awesome, so I might be making that. Um, what else we got here? Let's just grab this. This looks like some sort of chocolate biscuit. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's got a different colour packaging. That's why it confused me. In here it's blue, here it's pink. Um, it's a... Constellation Chocolate. Ah! That's cute. Aquarius and Pisces are the constellations associated with February. Each of these chocolate biscuits are printed with a constellation of their own. Oh, cool! Okay, so in there you have like a little constellation biscuit. Oh, we have something that's Dragon Ball Z. Ooh, I'm interested. <laughs> Let's have a look. What's this Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball Super Card Gum. This is a bonus item. Um, we've added a special Dragon Ball Super Candy Cards combo. This combo, this comes with a ram a Ramelon flavoured gum and a random character card. Oh, we have to open this now, I'm intrigued. <laughs> yeah, I can smell the Ramelon, I can definitely smell it. So you have like, your little bit of gum. Oh, you get two! Oh, cool! You get two character cards. Um, I have to apologise, I haven't watched Dragon Ball in forever, so I don't actually remember the characters at all. I need to start watching it again. Like I, I started watching it and then I never finished. So uh, if you know what these two characters are, let me know. 
But yeah, so, oh that's so cool. But yeah, that's just like a little bonus gift. I was so impatient, I couldn't wait to open that one. Okay, so this one. This looks like some sort of stick. What? Onimokarab Kanabush Choka. Choco. I probably said that wrong. Yeah, that's what it's called. These devilishly good cookie sticks are covered with chocolate and nuts. In order to look like a iconic bat that an oni, a mythological Japanese demon, typically carries. Oh, okay, so it's like a little candy. I think mine's a bit broken. <laughs> yeah, the end of mine's a bit broken where the chocolate and all isn't covering it, but oh well. Oh, I think I've had these before. Yeah. Where is it? The Umi Marshmallow. Umi are, plum, are plums native to Japan that have a distinct sour taste. I've had this before and I love it. It's so nice. It's got like, um, oh my god. I, I don't know how to describe it, but it tastes amazing. Like, trust me. Okay, so this looks like some sort of chocolate waffle. <laughs> it actually says waffle chocolate on the bottom. Lol. Uh, here you go. Uncle Daniel's chocolate. During Valentine's Day in Japan, it is traditional for girls to give chocolate to the person they like. This month, Japan Crate is bringing you chocolate such as the waffle inspired by the crisp Dutch waffle treat. Oh, okay, so the girls actually give guys chocolate. Oh, I like that idea. So rather than the guys having to do it, all the girls have to do it in Japan. I like that. Okay, so what's this? Oh, this feels like small little things in a bag. Uh, this is the Mixed Trio Soft Candy, but it feels like there's more than three in there. These soft chewy candies come in, oh, three classic flavours. Cola, Ramu and Grape. Ooh, the grape ones sound good. I might have to try these in a bit. <laughs> this is tiny. Ah, Dragon Ball Super Gum. We've included not one, but two dra- there's two. Dragon Ball Super, oh, Super Items in your crate. Give it a power up. The first one in is a Dagashi staple, bubble gum. Can you blow a bubble, bubble as huge as Genki Dama can? Okay, so this, these are just little gum. That's cute. What's this? Okay, so Chirin Kanpai Ramun. What are these? I can't find the thing for them. Ah, there. Kampai Ramun. This fun beer mug is not actually filled with beer, but with Ramun candies. Kampai is similar to saying cheers, then making a toast. So these are perfect for celebrating with the ones you love. They're really cute. Like, super cute. Okay, so what else have we got? What's this? It says Happy Valentine's, thanks. Oh, cute! This is a Valentine's um, Umabo chocolate. I apologise if I pronounce any of this wrong. I have never spoken Japanese in my life. This um, Umabo is chocolate flavoured in time for Valentine's Day. The package comes in a cute seasonal design which makes this a perfect weather Oh, this makes it perfect whether you give it to your friends or keep it to treat yourself. It's really cute. It, it feels quite sturdy as well. Okay, I'm intrigued. This is a this is like a bag with a face on it. Caramel corn, apparently. Let's have a look. Tohato strawberry milk caramel corn is a staple of Japanese snacks, but this time it comes in strawberry milk flavour. Strawberry milk can be found at convenience stores 
and vending machines in Japan, so why not combine two classic sweets into one delicious treat? Okay, I have to admit, it looks cute, so I might try that one in a bit. Uh, this one, Angel Pie, it says, Angel Pie. Let's have a look. Mini Angel Pie Strawberry Dafuku. Chocolate strawberries are always romantic for Valentine's Day, so we brought you those flavours, but with a Japanese twist. These are chocolate pies with a with a delectable strawberry marshmallow filling. The filling emulates the chewy sweetness of strawberry dafuku, mochi filled with strawberries. Ooh, they sound good. I, I definitely might have to try those. Okay, so chocolate potato chips. Mm. Okay, so we have some luxury chocolate chocolate today it says these limited edition chips are made with 100 percent hokkaido potatoes rock salt from france and drizzled with chocolate for a perfect balance of sweet and salty the combination of these ingredients make for a luxurious tasting experience Ooh, it's quite a big bag too like Ooh, excited and then last oh no there's something else that i missed whoops uh, this looks like it's Hello Kitty. Yeah, it is. Hello Kitty Ichigo Ichigo Di Chu. Hello Kitty is here to join the Valentine's celebration with strawberry chocolate. The name of this tree is a play on words. Chu means kiss, meaning each bite is like a strawberry kiss, but also the combination of Di Chu is like a cute way of saying Desu. Start, starting this is strawberry flavour in a stating this is strawberry flavour in a sweet way okay they feel quite tiny so I'm really intrigued with those as well they're very small and then um, with Japan crate you get a drink this looks like it's something to do with apples and I love the fact it's got Pikachu on it I might have to keep this bottle Pokemon honey apple Ooh. Pikachu wants to help with Valentine's festivities with this delicious apple drink. It is complemented with a sweet honey taste and is full of vitamin C to give you a little boost during the winter season. Oh wow! Mm, I might have to save this one though guys because uh, I'm just going to have to save it. So yeah, I opened this Dragon Ball one, which was the Ramoon Gum. I'm not going to bother trying that because it's gum and I'll just waste it because I'll just have to eat it and then spit it back out again. I'm just going to put this all back in the box because it just makes more sense. Um, I'm going to save these crisps. I'm going to... I might try... I'm going to try one of these. I'm going to try one of these. I'm saving the marshmallow because I know I like that. <laughs> the little gum can go away. The Hello Kitties can go away. This I'll do another video on. I'll give these a go and I'll pick one more I'll try this as well okay but also in the leaflet you have what's happening in Japan so you've got like game party strawberry festival and things like that all along here so yeah but I do like the fact that the DIY you actually get the English instructions on your pamphlet too but okay so we're gonna try these three So these are the different foods we're going to try from the Japan crate. Um, what I'll probably do is I probably will vlog when I do try them another time. Right, so I think the first thing I'm going to try is this, which is the Valentine's Mbio chocolate. Oh, I don't want to ruin the packaging. The packaging is so cute. Oh wow, it is actually covered in... It's completely covered in chocolate. It smells uber chocolatey. Mmm. It tastes like cereal covered in chocolate. Like, um, like puffy cereal, like Rice Krispies. But without the texture, it's like really smooth. Oh, it's really good. I like the chocolate. 
Okay, next is the tri Mixed Trio Soft Candy. Cola Ramuna Grape. I'm hoping that they're coloured so I can kind of guess which one's which. Oh, they're not overly coloured. Oh dear. I'm going to have to guess. Uh-oh. Um, well, we're not going to go for a white one. I'm telling you what, the bag smells awesome. All three smell smellies and they're quite small. Oh my god, they are soft. Squeeze! <laughs> that was obviously the Ramoon one because it wasn't overly flavourful. But I do like it. Okay, so I think next I'm going to try the Campfire Moon, which is the, where is it, which is the Ramoon Candies. I'm going to need the knife to get into this, can't get into it. There. Oh, they're bigger than I thought. Oh, they're like really chalky. Oh! They're super chalky. I don't know if I like them or not. I think I will eat them, but they're just overly chalky. Wow. <clears throat> and then the last thing, I'm going to try these Tahato Strawberry Milk Caramel Corns. Over smell of strawberry mixed with like a crispy smell. Oh my god, I really like these. Mmm, I like them. <laughs> I like them a lot. I better put them down or they're gonna all be gone in two seconds. I really do like this. But yeah, um, I'm not going to eat the rest because I don't really want to open everything. But yeah, so I got a lot of stuff. I'm just going to put this away just so I can look it up. But like, the Japan crate's really good. I do love it. And I'm so happy that this worked out. Um, I was really worried that there was like stuff in it that I wouldn't eat. I was like, oh no. But um, I'm super happy that, because it's Valentine's Day, most of it's like strawberry or ramen or something, which I do like. But um, I have another two months of these coming, so look forward to that. But I'm just going to let you know the pricings quickly. Let me just get it up on here. Okay, for a month to month, it is $30, which I can renew every month. The one I would have had to pay for uh, $29 a month if you buy three, $29 a month if you buy three months prepay or if you do a six month prepay it's $28.33 a month and you can also get um, a 12 month prepay which is £27.50 $27 a month so there are quite a few things. Um, you can also actually get other crates as well, which is a Doki Doki crate and other things like that. But personally, I think these are really good if you like trying like food from Japan and you've always wanted to go, but you can never get there. But yeah, so I'm probably going to go eat these now because they're really yummy. But thank you for watching, my darlings. Stay safe. Be happy. Bye.